Six months ago, scientists were able to revive an animal that had been frozen in the permafrost for 24,000 years. This breakthrough has raised the question of whether it's possible to bring other animals back to life after long periods of freezing or even extinction. It appears that scientists are on the verge of being able to resurrect creatures that have been absent from the Earth for centuries, ranging from saber-toothed tigers and mammoths to the most renowned extinct birds. In this video, I will show you some of the animals that scientists are preparing to revive. Let's get started. Ground Sloth Ground Sloth Sid, the ground sloth from Ice Age, is one of the missing characters. In the movie, he belongs to the Megalonyx genus, which is now extinct. This group of ground sloths disappeared about 4,000 years ago, around the same time as the woolly mammoths. However, there is still hope for the revival of this species. Scientists have managed to extract DNA samples from the preserved remains of the hair of ground sloths. This is great news, as it opens up the possibility of injecting this genetic material into a suitable surrogate mother, which would lead to the birth of a ground sloth. But there is a catch. Ground sloths were enormous creatures, weighing several tons and reaching six meters in height. While scientists know how to resurrect them, they currently do not have a suitable surrogate mother for such a large species. The females of modern sloths would not be able to carry such giants. However, geneticists are optimistic about the future and believe that it will be possible to develop an artificial womb where the embryo can grow. While the trio from Ice Age may soon become a reality, there are other extinct animals that scientists are working to revive. Stay tuned to learn about the resurrection of the cave lion, the return of feathered creatures from the past, and other groundbreaking efforts to bring back extinct species. Woolly mammoth, but it would certainly be bore on its own. How can Diego do without Manny? Yes, scientists can resurrect woolly mammoths too and are already on the verge of great discoveries. The resurrection of the woolly mammoth, in general, seems to be one of the most obvious and even the easiest. First, there are plenty of mammoth remains, like the remains of saber-toothed tigers. They're preserved in the permafrost. Second, mammoths became extinct later than saber-toothed tigers. For example, recently a mammoth was found on Wrangell Island, which lived only 4,300 years ago. Plus, scientists often find the well-preserved remains of these woolly giants. This opens up great prospects. Russian scientists believe that it's easier to resurrect mammoths than other extinct animals since the permafrost does not allow them to fully decompose and preserves important genetic material. American scientists agree with them. About six months ago, they announced plans to bring woolly mammoths back to life. To do this, they want to apply genetic engineering techniques and use the DNA of woolly mammoths and elephants. Geneticists and biologists intend to breed the first cup within six years and then create an entire population. After that, scientists plan to repopulate the Siberian tundra with woolly mammoths to slow the rate of global warming. Saber-toothed tiger, do you like the Ice Age animated film? Who is your favorite character? If it's Diego, then you're in for some good news. The real Diego may soon reappear on our planet. Saber-toothed cats, more accurately called than tigers, were the first animals to be entirely wiped out by humans about 10 to 11,000 years ago. Now scientists are trying to correct the mistakes of our ancestors by bringing these extinct creatures back to life. Some remains of saber-toothed cats are still preserved in permafrost, which are believed to be the best sources of DNA. However, it's still not enough. Scientists are also exploring the possibility of taking remains from ancient resin deposits, but this is not yet fully confirmed and the quantity of remains is limited. Once scientists have isolated the genome of the saber-toothed cat, they will impregnate the surrogate mother, which will be an African lioness. Everything is already clear on paper, but the real challenge lies in the practical implementation of this ambitious project to bring Diego back to life. Siberian Unicorn did you know that unicorns exist, or rather existed? But I have to disappoint you a little. I'm not talking about those fantastic creatures from myths and legends. I'm talking about the Siberian unicorn, the name of Elasmatherium, the extinct rhino. The main feature of these creatures was a very long and curved horn. It's believed that Elasmatherium became the prototypes of unicorns. These creatures became extinct about 30,000 years ago due to drastic climate changes and hunting by primitive humans. Modern humans can return the favor and try to bring back Elasmatherium. Biologically speaking, Elasmatherium became extinct relatively recently, so they can be revived. 
The permafrost has well preserved the remains of this real unicorn, which gives a good chance of reviving a Lasmatherium today. Dodo. The dodo, unfortunately, is a bird that is no longer with us. It represents the tragic loss of species due to careless and barbaric invasion of established ecosystems. When humans settled on the island of Mauritius, they quickly wiped out all the dodos that were defenseless and unafraid of strangers because they posed no threat. Throughout the 17th century, people ruthlessly destroyed the natural habitat of the dodos, while the animals they brought in ravaged dodo nests and competed for limited food resources. As a result, the last dodo died in 1662. However, there is still hope. Scientists have collected several biological samples of these birds that can be used to isolate DNA. In fact, this has been done for a long time. Work began at the University of Oxford in the early 2000s to decode the genome of an extinct species. Dried heads from the local museum's collection are used as biomaterial. While the resurrection of the dodo is possible, scientists have only been able to partially restore the DNA of the dodo and they have compared its genes with those of modern birds. Potential relatives of the dodo. Biologists believe that the Nicobar pigeon is the closest living relative of the dodo. Imagine the excitement when the dodo is reborn. Passenger pigeon. And here's another extinct bird. Unlike all the previous animals in this video, the passenger pigeon became extinct quite recently. The last wild individual was killed in 191, and the last passenger pigeon in captivity died in 1914. It's only been a little over a century. By the way, it's surprising that just a couple of centuries before extinction, the passenger pigeon was the most numerous bird in the world. There were 5 billion of these birds flying around the planet. I don't know if scientists will be able to reconstruct the same gigantic population, probably not, but at least a few passenger pigeons may well be brought back from the dead. American geneticist George Church proposes to recreate the genome of the passenger pigeon by combining DNA fragments from various samples. The DNA can then be injected into the nuclei of the stem cells of the common pigeon or the band-tailed pigeon and make them turn into embryo cells, which will later form the bird's sex organs. The next step is to introduce the cells into the eggs, which will produce chicks that look like a common pigeon or a band-tailed pigeon but contain the DNA of an extinct bird in their cells. It will remain to cross the hatched birds. Their offspring will have signs of the passenger pigeon, aurochs. There was another animal that became extinct not so long ago, the aurochs. It was due to human activity as our ancestors hunted them in the forest steppes and steppes of the Eastern Hemisphere, which led to the extinction of the species. However, efforts are now being made to resurrect them and make amends. Scientists in the past have tried to resurrect the aurochs, but instead bred a new breed called heck cattle. Modern-day scientists hope to resurrect the aurochs by breeding an animal that matches their appearance, size, and behavior. Researchers from the Netherlands are working towards this, while Polish scientists are attempting to clone them. They plan to remove DNA from the preserved bones of the animal, restore a molecule with genetic information, and introduce it into the embryo of a common cow. If everything goes as planned, we may soon see the once extinct bulls. Do you have any extinct animals that you would like to see revived? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.